Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Jimmy. Just came back after a legendary spa with a really high level amateur in my gym. I wish I recorded it for you guys, but I'm, I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't record it. It's like, I've, I've missed on like four rounds of really good sparring. <laughs> my best sparring was where, is, oh, this, is the sparring. My best sparring moments are the moments where I haven't recorded. Amazing. Yeah, I was just thinking to myself, where am I going with this? And I was talking to my coach and my coach was like, yeah, well, a lot of guys tell me they want to compete and they want to you know, get in competition. But, you know, look at that guy over there. He's been coming boxing for five years and he hasn't competed yet. And and he's basically comparing me to the same level of that, as that guy. And then he was like, look at the guy up there. He's training hard. He's training with his full potential, but he says... He just want to do the fitness and enjoy sparring. That's it. And he respects that so much more. Previously, he said at the beginning of the session that... It kind of pissed me off, I can't lie. But it kind of just got me stumped more so than pissed off. I was like, damn. He's like, yeah, he does a fitness, but he got hands. That's what he said about me. But, um... It's not enough. It's not enough, is it? It'll be like there's a hierarchy in this gym. Like, of course, the amateur fighters, the ones that wear vests, the ones that train at that time. Of course, they're gonna be be at a higher priority. There's there's no there's no thing, no shit, Sherlock. And I think to myself like, above me, okay. Let's say I win international champion. Let's say I win world champion. Let's just say that for a sec. Oh, you're not, but you're not good enough. I can see you're for it, but you're not good enough. Okay, okay. We know that, buddy. <laughs> but let's say like, I work for the next five, ten years of my life. Grind super hard for these goals. I achieve these goals. What then? What then? Where am I going with this? Do I did I? I originally wanted to become rich. I wanted that yacht lifestyle. I wanted that that yacht. The the supercars. The big busty women around, that type of shit, right? Every single man wants that type of thing, but then I know these guys that do get it, they're kind of just like, eh, whatever. And then they go back to whatever the fuck they were doing beforehand, and they regress, almost. Like, going back to the basics, because um, they, ne they never really wanted that lifestyle. That lifestyle was a goal that they achieved, boom, tick, and then they kind of just got out, out of the way of that was done with. I think to myself, the same thing with boxing, like, where am I going with this? I'm training so hard. I am going to compete. Where am I going with this? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm coming back to this video. I, I, I don't know. I'm less in my mind these days because I kind of just haven't given myself time to think. There's also a possibility I got fucking brain damage from boxing and sparring, but I doubt that that, that possibility is there. It's more so like I just I haven't given myself the ability and the opportunity to think because I've been working so hard. 9 to 5, side security, working on the computer. Then it's six to nine boxing, and that's four days a week for boxing. Tuesday, two Friday, Monday's one day off. The weekend's the day off as well. I, I want to just spend today playing video games and relaxing, but then I can't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm kind of just forced back into the improvement habits. I'm forced back into the into the fucking in into the the grindset habits, and I, I don't know what I can say. It just yeah. I'm doing my filling out my habit tracker. Oh, 
I going with this? Why am I going with this? See you in a minute. See you in a minute, right? I gotta go. I gotta think.